Hey BBs, it's Plastic. It's Hey back with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing very, very, very well. In today's video, I want to sit down with you guys and kind of cool chat while I open this Rainbow High Daria Rose Rainbow High doll because I got her at my discount store um, maybe like last week. She's been like in my room, just like sitting on like my, like, like in my room, like there's like a shoe case kind of over there. And like, I just like have like dolls stacked on top of it. And like on like my rainbow high closet like with the deluxe closet so i like had her on like the deluxe the the like deluxe closet for a week and i kept like looking at her i'm like oh okay i'll make that video soon i'll make that video but like i felt like there was nothing to talk about to like make the video and i still feel like there's nothing to talk about but i'll always make something to talk about because i feel like i could just talk to myself for hours so i think that's what we're gonna do today is just talk to myself and open up this daria doll because there's always something to talk about and ghoul chat about um so yeah, but this is a doll that I didn't want to like do a review on because like she's been out for so long and I already have her, like I already like know what she's about, but um, I'm not keeping these, so I'm only keeping her first outfit and part of it. I don't even think I want the jacket because I already have the first outfit, like I already have this doll, but I bought her like 2021, end of 2021. There was like a Target sale, I got her for $20 and um, and like I got her... But I got her, like, on, like, a, it was, like, Target, right? And, like, it was, like, an online, order online and pick it up in store, which is, like, my first mistake. Like, don't do that for Rainbow High Dolls. Like, if you're going to the store, just pick it out there. Um, and I did that, and the doll that I had has a really weird lip chip, and I'll show you. I don't even know where she is, to be honest. I think she's in my Rainbow High house, but I don't feel like getting her. Wait, let me get her. I don't know if y'all can tell, but there's, like, a chip in her lip. Oh, it's very small, actually, but it's, like, right there. Um... So I don't, I don't need another doll just because of that. But like, there's a little bit of a chip on her face. It's very, very minor. But I love Daria because I just like love pink dolls. I don't really know her character like at all. Like, what does she do in the show? I can't remember a single thing about this character. But she has pink hair, and I feel like I love pink hair. And I have this one. I kind of like restyled a little, a little bit. So I thought it'd be fun to like have one in like her stock outfit. Um. And I also, I don't know, like, I, I could have kept this doll in box, like, I should have kept this doll in box, because, like, I feel like Rainbow High doll boxes are so cute, and, like, they're never gonna have this style again, but I am so bad with my dolls in box, like, I, like I, don't, I don't enjoy them that much, like, in box, like, I enjoy very few of them in box, like, if I had a giant in box collection, I wouldn't do anything with it, so, I think it's better for me to just open them. Oh, my god. And she has a stand, wait, does she have a stand? Yeah. They all have stands. Miss that thing. I don't need her hangers, though. Oh my god, it's Daria Rose. And I have not seen her in this lock outfit in a while. Like, it's been a minute. Um, but we haven't really seen that much of Rainbow High this year in 2023. I feel like these dolls have been very quiet. We saw Sugar leak or reveal or do something early with the new twin pack and of Luna and Sunny. And I'm not sure if I should show that here because it's not like official it was pr so like we fully like know like they're out and they're coming out soon and i have some thoughts about it because it looks really weird like i love the two back i like the concept of sunny and luna in a two back like duh but it's also like sunny literally like has so much going on with her outfit and luna's just there in like a shirt skirt and like a corset so like it feels really weird that like sunny's like all dolled up and then luna's just like there um so I don't know how I feel about the two-pack. And we also have not really heard that much from Rainbow High besides, like, Shadow High. They had a series, what, five? Is it series five? I don't care. I think that series is kind of boring. Like, I'm not sure if it's just me or if everyone's feeling the same way. But, like, I have not had a single thought about Rainbow High series five since I bought Michelle St. Cloud or St. What is it? That's, that's Sabrina St. Cloud. What is her name? Michelle White, is it? No, that's Victoria Whiteman. What is Michelle's last name? Is it Michelle? It's the orange one. I bought the orange one um, back when she came out because I was excited about her and I loved her nails. And I had a lip, like she has a really weird lip defect. And like, I keep going into the Target stores. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy her now. Like I'll buy a new one. And I just don't do it. Um, but what's her last, is it Charles? Michelle Charles? St. Charles? It's something with an ST, right? I can't remember, y'all, but apparently series season, what, four is coming out soon, so, like, I'm excited about that, um, I think it'll be fine whenever that we get new Rainbow High content, and I hope 
that with this new animation studio, we get longer episodes. And I hope, for, like, this long hiatus that we've gotten since, what, like, November to now, we've still been on hiatus. We got the trailer a couple weeks ago, I think. Um, but, oh my god. It's doll is pa I hate the rainbow high packaging. Like, this is so wasteful. And it's so much, like, throwaway. It's such a big deal. Oh, but it's Daria Rose. She's so pretty, y'all. Like, this doll is so pretty. If y'all have not gotten Daria Rose... Hop on that. Oh, her outfits are kind of something. But I think the doll itself is gorgeous. And my actual, okay, there were so many issues with my first edition, like, um, Daria. Because I know her dress is ripping and I had a hot glue. It's like, don't even ask me, y'all. It was early 2022 and I was doing anything. Um, but I, like, glue, like, this was coming apart. It was, like, fading off. And I think this is good. Um... Oh, God, it feels so good to just have her in, like, her original outfit. Because her original outfit that I have is just messed up a little bit. And it's not a big deal again. Like, it's just, like, it's, like, on the back and it's, like, super hard back here. Um, but I'm just happy to have two of her now. Like, I think she's, like, such a pretty doll. Maybe I'll give one bangs. Would y'all want to see that? Um, me just mess up bangs? Because I know one of my friends had, like, a video on how to remove bangs and i'll put that in the description because i think it's a really interesting video but i'm like so scared to do it because like i keep like i think i have like a i have a couple dolls in my collection that i'm like i would think it would look better with bangs like for instance my second rock angels reproduction sasha which i don't think i've shown y'all the first like two i have two of them now i'll show that in like what what's today the day that this is posted is probably gonna be like a tuesday my monthly haul is gonna be on june 1st so soon you'll see my a new newest edition of my Rock Angels collection, but um, I want to give one of them bangs. One, the one with like the lazy eye. Um, I've been looking at one of my brats. I have Wild Wild West Megan, like the like the one that comes with like the horse, and like I know she would look good with bangs because she already has a haircut like here. Like she has a middle part, and like part of it's like already cut because like I got her second hand on like Macari for very cheap. Um, oh, she needs, she doesn't have that much gel in her hair either, so she's pretty much good to go. But I want to give her bangs because I feel like that would even it out. But like also like. Why would I give her bang? Like, I feel like I would just mess it up so easily and quickly. So, I don't know if, like, I should just bite the bullet and give, like, a doll bangs. Or if, like, I should just be like, no, plastic, you should just be smart and, like, not cut your doll's hair. Because every time you cut your doll's hair, it always turns out awful. Um, which is funny. Like, that's hilarious that I don't know how to cut doll hair. Um, but I'm just so scared of it because, like, it doesn't grow back. And it's, like... I don't know, and I don't want to spend. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how to reroute. That's like my big thing right now. It's like I don't know how to reroute a doll hair, a doll head, which is bad because like I should. Like I, I should learn to like do it because like I think it's a really useful tool to know how to like reroute a doll. Um, but I don't know. Should I re restyle this doll? Because I feel like I already don't like her outfit. Like this is like the same thing. Like I don't like this outfit at all. Like I think it's so ugly. It's so like H and M Forever Twenty One. Um, like it feels dated and. It is dated because, like, this doll came out. Or she was, like, designed a couple years ago, probably. Um, when did she came out? 2021 and it's 2023. Wow. It feels like yesterday when the excitement of Series 3 was coming. This is, what, Series 3, right? 4 was Mina. 5 was Michelle. So, this is Series 3, which feels weird. Um... Wow, Rainbow High is had a really wild ride, and I feel like the first year of Rainbow High was like a fever dream, like, did it actually exist? Um, this is just one of those dolls, I'm like, wait, you, you still, like, happened? Um, but I still, like, love her, so I don't know. I just, like, 2021 is crazy to me. Like, that was such a long time ago. Like, I just need to think about that for a minute. Um... But you can definitely see, like, this was definitely, like, 2018 inspired. Like, this, roses on everything. You walk into an H&M, and there's still roses on every single thing. So, I, maybe I'll take that off for her for right now, because it's gonna, like, give me, like, a heat stroke or something. I don't know. Like, it makes me annoyed. Because, like, this is fine. Like, there's definitely a lot of words on it and everything, but it's, like, better. It's not, like... I don't know. I just hate fast fashion. That's my thing about Rainbow Highs. I feel like a lot of the dolls, they've been getting a lot better with it. Like, I think recently, Series 5, while they're kind of boring and, like, I cannot find a Kim with good bangs. Like, the only thing that's holding me back from getting that line is finding a Kim with good bangs. Because I don't want to, like, my favorite from that line was Kim. I think Kim is the best Rainbow High doll from that line, period. I think she's so good. But, like, finding her in person, she has the craziest bangs. She looks like Pretty Punk Jade. And if y'all know what that doll looks like, she has a mohawk. 
she looks horrible. Like, I cannot get a Kim with good bangs. And I've been, and like, my area has not been stocking Series 5 like they should be. Like, I feel like, ser even Shadow High, I feel like they're not, like, around. And maybe it's because, like, there's a lot of dolls on the market and, like, it's hard to, like, move dolls right now. Like, there's not that many doll sales because, like, no one's really buying dolls. I don't know what the tea is with the doll aisle right now, but it's kind of giving same old, same old, which is, like, something that I should be, like, thankful for because, like, a lot of the dolls that I buy is on sale. But when there's no new, new dolls coming in, like, the old dolls won't go on sale. So, like, I'm missing a lot of, like, LOL OMG dolls and BTWs right now because there's no new OMG dolls, right? And that's kind of an issue because, like, the old ones won't go on sale. And with OMG, I'm very specific to, like, only buying them on sales because, like, OMG goes on sales like crazy. Um, and I'm kind of doing that with Rainbow High right now because, like, why do I need to spend, like, $26 on, like, Victoria Whiteman? Like, I think she's gorgeous and I definitely want her. Or, but like, I, like, already forgot about her, so she's not prevalent in my mind. But Shadow High Series 2, that's where my money went. Like, my money went there quickly. Like, I got that lineup completed in, like, a month. I mean, I don't have Rex yet, but I don't really count the boy dolls as, like, a part of the collection, to be honest. Because, like, boy dolls are just, like, boy dolls, and, like, they're not as exciting to me. I still want Rex eventually, but, like, I completed what I wanted from the Series High, Series, Shadow High Series 2 lineup in, like, a month. Like, I think it was, like, February that I completed that doll lineup. Which is crazy to me, because, like, I, again, I'm very, like, besides Monster High and Bratz, like, those are my exceptions. Like, those are the doll lines that, like, I'll buy quicker. But with Rainbow High and OMG, like, I usually wait, like, months, if not, like, months. Like, it's it takes, like, half a year to complete a line from Rainbow High for me. But those ones are just so immaculate, and I really wish we got Shadow High, more of Shadow High. I mean, we will. Like, it's, what, only, like, May? June is probably gonna be a big thing for them, because it's, like, Rainbow. Maybe they'll release their Series 4, Series, Season 4? Is it season four? Season four in June, because it's, like, Rainbow Month. They'll never claim that. They'll never have a queer character, but it'll be Rainbow Month for them. Who knows? I just want that more Rainbow High, because it's, it's been, like, five months, six months, seven months? November? Wait, December, January, February, March, April, May. It's been six months without any new Rainbow High show content. And that's, I think, a determining factor in a lot of people's, like, kind of... Everyone says, everyone says they're bored from Baha'i, which I kind of get, because, like, the newest doll they have out is what the budget dolls in, like, countries that aren't America. Is that correct? I think so. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't keep up with them as much. I mean, I keep up with them, but, like, not, like, there's nothing to keep up with, you know? So, maybe they're plotting. I feel like it's gonna be really, really crazy for Baha'i and, like, the later part of this year, and I'm scared for it. Like, I'm very scared for it. I don't know, I feel like the doll aisle is kind of boring right now, though. So, like, there's nothing to, like, do with dolls. Um, I mean, there's a lot to do. Like, I've been really into my Bratz era right now. Like, I've been collecting Bratz, like, there's no tomorrow. Um, I've been finding a couple good deals on Makari here and there, and I think that's kind of exciting for me. I love my Bratz dolls, and they're always really fun to collect and, you know, get, because they're so small. Like, I feel like Rainbow High dolls are, like, so big that's, like, when you get them, it's, like, it's not that they're, like, a bigger, like, they're not that big of a doll, like, they're not, like, you know, like, American Girl dolls, but they're not, like, Bratz dolls and Monster High, like, I have a Frankie right here, where these dolls are much, like, smaller, and I feel like they're, like, they're more collectible. These ones are just big. Does this make any sort of sense to anybody? Like, just the way that, like, the head, I, I don't know. Does anyone else feel that way? Like, if I was a kid, I don't know how I'd play with these dolls, because they're, they're just big, you know? I think brat size and Monster High, I think mean, Monster, like, they're, they're the same height, but, like, in the terms of, like, heaviness... They're taking it in terms of being heavier, which could be a good thing. Like, it just feels more deluxe, but, like, I don't know. Quick overview of, like, Miss Daria's, like, I love her little eyes. They're so cute. This pink hair, like, the little, like, streaks in it are so cute. I like the outfit again with a lot of nothing. I wish she had the acrylic mold. This is, like, pre-cute um, acrylics that they started to have. Um, so that's nice. But we have, like, the same nails, so it's, like, fine we're matching. Um, these cute little Doc Martens are also really, really fine. Um, she has, like, a second outfit, but I don't know, like, what, like it's kind of ugly. Um, and then she's a stand, which I probably should open, because I think this is, like, the... No, I hate Rainbow High stands. I'm gonna say it now, I'm gonna say it here. I think they're so annoying, and they don't work. Like, they don't do, like, well anything. They just kind of, like, exist and they fall over so easily. But at least, like, they're, like, have glitter in it, you know? Like, this one's, like, pink and has glitter. So, like, it's fine. Like, at least they look pretty. Um, jumped a little bit. Gagged me a bit. Um, I thought this all had earrings, though. Like, I swore she did. But, again, my restyled one does have earrings. Because I put them on her. So, I don't know. But she's cute on little Stan. Like, look at her. She's cutesy patootsie. Like, yes. Eat it up, ma. 
There's Dari Rose, y'all. She's she's taking it. She's so cutie. If y'all have not gotten this doll, I really think y'all should look for her. I don't even know if she's like available anywhere. Um, but also she's just kind of like one of those dolls that like just exists. So maybe don't buy her if you don't want her. But I think she's like so pretty. Like, I like her as a base doll a lot better. I'm definitely gonna restyle this one again um, because I'm already like bored of this outfit. Like it's whatever. Faux denim. Again, the roses though just irk my soul. This is just, like so H&M. So yeah, I think Daria Rosalind is so cutesy patootsy, and I hope you guys like this school chat. I don't really know what I talked about at all, and I kind of just blanked out. Um, so yeah, thank you guys again for watching and chatting with me today. It was so much fun with you guys, and I can't wait to catch y'all out in the next one. I love you all so very much, much. Please have a fierce night, and see you guys all very, very soon. Love you all. Bye. Bye, everybody.